hey hi everyone this is mohit and welcome back to engineer stickup channel so in this video we are going to discuss planet testing india private limited interview question and answer for automation test engineer two to eight year of experience so planet testing india private limited which is uh, situated in hyderabad location and it's not a like a mnc company it's a pure testing company guys and they have asked some question i have shared with you like scenario based and all and let's see you know the first question the first question is always tell me about yourself so if you are watching my uh this series so please uh, skip this uh question we have already discussed many times if you are new in the channel please you can just watch it so tell me about yourself you have to highlight your name your current organization your relevant experience your uh, skill your current project your roles and responsibility how to introduce yourself i have made a one separate video i will share this link in the description how to explain your project we have a separate video how or how to what to tell in your roles and responsibility we have a separate video so we will get in the description if you are not able to find let me know i will share with you okay so let's move in the second question okay guys so second question they have given some assignment okay okay so they have given some assignment to automate using the framework okay so here you have to not write simple script you have to use the some framework to automate this script so let me tell you here so here you know this is the genuine question they have asked because this is you know will define you and i like it okay the practical things they have asked you so here they have given some uh, instruction how to do that so you have to follow here coding standard then you have to follow test a script design okay so what you have to follow in the coding standard if you are writing the script in your real time or if you are doing some development task right so here coding a standard comment must be included in method which described clearly the intention of developer while creating a method so what will happen when you are working in your coding right so when you are creating a, any method then we have a, some document so what actually this method is are doing and all if you are not aware how to do the comments just you can search how to do java doc okay you will get it method must use a clear indentation to define where the function or condition start and ends so you have a you know indentation and all you can your uh, code looks like crisp and clear okay use the separator file view and better to looks and feel okay hard coded bit slip like avoid this so here they don't want to use hard coded bit variable name must be meaningful so whatever you are writing the variable name should be a meaningful you should not write anything else right when you are working the real time we follow this all the things test a script design then they have also written maintain an organized folder structure as a part of your framework so if you know the framework then you know how to maintain the structure use any unit test framework and build tools that you familiar like you can use your test engine and all whatever you are familiar with that use the data driven so you should not do hard coded you have to use data driven concept here do not use absolute expert so please do not use absolute expert you have to write relative expert cover all the validation so as per the steps you have to cover all the validation so just go through that it's like a one uh, simple online shopping portal and we are uh, searching the product and we are adding in the cart and we are uh, you know uh after order successful then just we we are validating the order so this is the overall like view of this assignment you can read once and you can try to uh, do that okay it, this is your practice okay you can try to do that uh if you are not able to let me know i will share the code okay so 
let's move in the another question how to resolve conflict okay so first of all you should know it right so you will get some conflict when you are when you will merge your changes right so we have a some steps and we have a multiple ways to resolve the conflict so i have just given one way and this is like a very simple step by steps so first what you have to do first uh, git checkout master okay so first you have to switch on your master branch okay how to switch so we have a command called git checkout master then after that git pull origin master so you can have a you know latest master code in your local so pull the most recent branch into your master branch then what you can do you have a another branch your branch so git check out your branch switch on your branch if you have any changes then git add git commit and git push these are the general things we are doing right then you can run the command git merge git merge master you are merging into your master so when you will try to merge it in your local you will get some conflict okay so here just i have written source control so here i am using the vs code if you have any other editor if you are not able to find this you can search in the google you will get it if you will go in the source control then we, we can resolve the conflict here when you will open that file whatever the conflicts are there you will get some code over there so whatever the recent changes you have done and whatever the changes uh, coming from the master or you want to keep the both right so these things you have to compare with your code and accordingly you have to keep in your uh, resolve this your conflict after that if you will resolve this conflict that error will gone then after that you can do the git add git commits and save the new changes and git push so this is very simple steps if someone will ask how to resolve the conflict or you can just do the practice i did not make the practical video for this but i have a plan to upload the video on the git and all so all are in the pipeline so definitely i will make some series of git also but for the interview perspective you can write these steps and you can tell to the interviewer then i think they are satisfied let's move in the another question okay are you working in master branch or your own branch okay so it can depend upon guys so what we are following just i'm sharing real time experience so every we having the two week sprint and you have a some task where you will get the task in your jira management tools we have or any tools we are using like consider the jira is the common so every task we have a one card so according to the card we can create a branch then we can start to work on that when your a script development a script development is completed we can push all the changes in the branch then we can raise the pr so you have a code review right so your lead or your manager will review your code if everything everything looks good they will approve your pr you can merge in your master this is what we are following if something uh, they want to change and all they will comment and again you have to work on that and we can push the changes and raise the pr so this process until unless will go your pr will approve once your pr will approve you can merge in the master okay this is the answer you have to give oh, so if you are not working in the real time just follow this okay so just i am working in my own branch in my current project every uh, having the jira card having the one separate branch and once i have done my uh, script post changes in the branch and create a pr review once pr is approved then we can merge in master branch so the same thing uh, we are following so this is all our real time interview questions okay what a dependency you have added in your project so generally in automation like if you are working in the java selenium we having the many dependency as per the requirement we can use this so basically it's some common dependency like we have a selenium web driver we have a test ng apache poi log4j it depend upon your project right whatever you are using 
we have uh, some if you are using some another library then we can add it like if you are using extend report or any other things whatever you are using we can add those dependencies okay so let's move into another question what is a step definition guys so again this is related to the cucumber so you just follow this link this is the official documentation of cucumber so you can just go and explore what is a step definition so just i have given the definition and this is a snapshot i took from the doc uh, uh, cucumber doc only a step definition is a method with an expression that link it to one or more gherkin steps when cucumber execute gherkin steps in scenario it looks for matching a step definition to execute so please explore cucumber and do the some practical theory will not work in the real time okay so go through that and just you can explore the cucumber another question is have you uh, how you are doing regression testing so first of all if you know what is the regression testing so whatever the existing changes and new changes we have so we will do the complete testing new and new functionality and existing functionality why we can do the complete testing because if if you have a code base or developer has done some changes or they have added some existing uh, they having the some bug fix right so we have to test each and everything whatever the developer has done the code base change it should not impact with our existing functionality right so in this scenario you have to do regression testing so you know how you are doing in your project right so basically we have a regression suit and mostly here we have a automation right so we can after a bug fix or defect fix we can run or if you have a new enhancement and all we can execute our regression suit and we can check if any failures are there if any failures are there then you have to debug why your test case is failed if it is related to a script right then you can fix your script if you are finding any defect then you can just manually test again and if if you have a defect then you can report to your developer right so we have a two week sprint if any new enhancement or any defect fixes are there then need to run regression suit right execute the test suit run the test cases and compare the actual and actual uh, and expected uh, to identify the, any differences right <laughs> report defects like if you are finding any defect then what you have to do you have to report to the developer any new defect identified during the regression test are reported to the development team for the fixing repeat the regression test cycle so we have to repeat after the defect has been fixed and in the regression testing process one second guys is repeated to ensure that the fixes did not introduce any new defect main agenda is for regression testing it should not break anything if you have an enhancement if you have a defect fix it should not break anything okay then otherwise you will get defect leakage in your production so we have to careful doing the regression testing okay that's all guys so nice question so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel to get new video notification trying to upload a uh, recent what uh, you know the companies are asking the question okay again thank you see you in the next video bye bye